Good morning, everybody from uh, Silver Street Studios uh, here in Houston. Here is uh, Bogdan and John with uh, the live art chat. So, you want to do some housekeeping before we, we before we start the show? Yes, absolutely. Uh, if, if you are with us on Facebook Live, we welcome you. We're delighted that you're here. Unfortunately, we're on Zoom and can't see your comments. So if you are following us tonight, uh, today live on Facebook, or we're tonight. not able to see your comments live. So don't be discouraged. We're not ignoring you. Uh, we will check all of those after the show and, and, and certainly get back to you if, uh, if there's something we need to, to respond. So I just wanted to make sure you understood that. Everything that we uh, show you today is for sale. We are those kinds of artists. And uh, so delighted to, to be able to share with you some of the things we're working on. If you fall in love with something and have to have it, that can happen. Uh, just let us know and we'll, we'll, uh, we can ship anywhere in the world. So uh, just so you know that uh, we're not teasing you. These things are really and for sale. We have an, <laughs> an, 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 and we also have a lot of um, uh, friends, artists, and mm -hmm. uh, if you guys are watching us and get inspired even better, reach to us if you have any questions about how to navigate to this art world. Um, we don't keep anything secret and we like yeah. to share. We would like to, to have known all these long time ago, all these tricks a uh, long time ago, but you know what? Um, we're still learning and uh, we're happy to share with everybody whatever we, we know. And uh, saying that, I think uh, we want to go back to the slideshow and follow the schedule. And that is um, now, if you are watching us on Facebook, that's great. But we also have um, uh, accounts on all of our social media, Instagram and YouTube. And uh, I'm just saying you can follow John at John Bishop Fine Art in Facebook or myself at Bogdan Photo Art. Uh, you also can um, follow us on Instagram, uh, John Bishop Fine Art or Bogdan on Instagram. You cannot forget that. It's that easy. And uh, we have a great uh, YouTube channel um, where we post uh, regularly um, uh, things and, and our art life um, um, life. How how do how do I say that, John? Better. Yeah, just a kind of how we're uh, the kind of premise behind the show is that we're sharing uh, how we're navigating running a a small art business and uh, what we're learning along the way and the wonderful people that we meet. Uh, so, and 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 again, if you if you wanna. Come visit us. We have studios here in Silver Street Studios in um, Houston. John is in Studio 108 and I'm in Studio 111. And moving forward, I want to first introduce the first two pieces of artwork we want to feature today. And that's Archetype. It's a piece of photography of mine. And uh, the other one, it's Mindfulness, is a piece of John's from Panka Marga series. Now, uh, one of my favorite um, uh, photographs um, is this called Archetype, and it's a black and white photography, and um, it's kind of a new series I've been working on. Um, it's called, uh, the series called Unwritten, and it tries to create a parallel between the, the use of tropes, the literary tropes to create and enhance uh, the written world and the use of light shadows and shape to create similar uh, visual effects in photography. And um, it started very, very organic in a way because I found myself trapped in the, in the first months of COVID and uh, <laughs> I, I'm home and I'm, I was working on a complete different project and I needed to cut some uh, seamless paper uh, to do a background I can't remember very well. So I ended up with these um, stripes of uh, cut paper on the floor. And uh, as I looked at it one day, I said, oh my God, those are so beautiful. Let me try to, 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 to 
photograph some of them and let let the paper uh, uh, unfold the way it wants, you know, nothing staged. And, um, you know, I, I just build up on, I put a, a, a piece of roll there and, and all of the other side until I create a nice balance. But the way it flows, it's completely organic and uh, natural. And I found that uh, very, very nice. In particular, this one, I think the light, it's, the light from natural from the windows and this yeah, is I, just, I love this series Bogdan uh, because it seems to me to be so pure it, it's what I imagine <coughs> excuse me kind of a pure approach to photography it's all about light it's all about shape um, and, and reflections of light and shadow what I wanted to say is is not only black and white photography it's actually uh gray paper on a gray background and this is the result of it and it's uh, it's a very limited series it's a 15 uh, in a series and this particular one that i have here is like a 26 by 22 inch so now i think it's uh, your turn to talk about mindfulness that's the one that i had the opening uh I guess a little over a little over a week ago and uh, um this is one of the fairly large pieces these are these are 40 by 30 inches uh and uh, i can't show it to you because it's still on exhibit uh, but what i wanted to share about this particular one using that kind of metaphor that i've, I've picked for using that that uh, kind of buddhist metaphor through the whole thing mindfulness is very very important in, in meditation and in, in developing that kind of inner life and so what I hoped to do here is, again, using all those elements that are, are from my past, from what I've learned up until this point, up until this point when I started the Panka Marga series. Those things are all reflected through layers and layers of underpainting. Uh, and as we talked about last time, those um, kind of large rectangles I, I see as, as footprints as though I'm doing a, a guided walking meditation uh, through the painting, through this history of mine as I'm starting this new, this new path. And so keeping all those things in my mind, being very mindful of and very purposeful in the way I paint uh, is going to be very much a part of this series. I really love the colors. I think that the, the there's a lot of chaos going on underneath, but the colors on top are pastels and I think they calm, which make to, to me represent more of a, a memory that I'm reflecting back on what has happened, not so much caught in the, in the chaos of the moment. Uh, that, that's what I was hoping to get across. I still think they're very calming paintings. I love the colors and uh, they're still available. Uh, I've sold over half the collection uh, within the first week and, and at, the, uh, at the opening. Uh, so if, uh, if you'd like to start collecting Banca Marga, this would be a really good time. <laughs> that is fabulous. And one of, those are my, my favorite. And since you um, talk about the, the Banca Marga, um, we want to add that the Banca Marga exhibition is still on uh, one more week. One more week, it, it goes down on the 27th of July. So there's still a chance to see the collection, um, everything up, and then those that are sold will be delivered, obviously, at, at the end of, I guess it's next Tuesday, that uh, the show is over. So this is still available. The studios are open from, from nine to five, Monday through Saturday. Uh, get in touch with me, I'll give you a private tour. Uh, price lists are there, everything is for sale. Um, those that are, have been sold have uh, have uh, red dots on them. And uh, we've got one of our collectors right here. Ryan Lindsay is one of our Panka Marga collectors. And uh, hopefully that, that painting will, will grace your home very soon. So I do appreciate you and uh, all the others who purchased from the collection. And there's still a chance. You not only get, hopefully, a painting that you love, but there's also some swag. I mean, you get a collectible catalog and most importantly, a lapel pin that marks you as a collector. Uh, so it's, it's interesting because we've already 
just in this week and a half, we've been able to kind of develop a relationship between uh, these new collectors and, and create hopefully something that will last for the 20 years that this collection will, will be developed. That is fabulous. Thank you, John. And now, um, since you are already think, thanking everybody, uh, let's move to the <laughs> thank you, thank you uh, slide. And uh, you, I want to first uh, uh, send a thank you to Charlie. Charlie, um, she's a, a wonderful lady who um, last week wandered um, on the hallways of uh, Silver Street Studios. Um, early in the morning, I guess, uh, because by 10 o'clock when I reached the studio, I got an email that she has fallen in love with the city people and she would like to check me out and see uh, what else do I have in my studio. And um, they just relocated from New York in a new huge home. And uh, she came by the studio and she purchased the big city people, which is a 36 by 36 on canvas. And then... Um, as she was looking around, she found another piece. And this way, she went home with two um, uh, photographs from my portfolio. And thank you, Charlie, again. Now, for those one who don't know, who didn't turn on Facebook earlier, um, we had a great trip to Louisiana, to Opelousas, this last weekend to deliver some artwork to Keith. Kit, who bought several pieces from us um, a few weeks ago. And I thought uh, I want to share with you a little, uh, some images from this trip. I don't know if, um, if Zoom uh, of this live stream will uh, hold uh, uh, playing this video. There's some, some time it doesn't play right. But anyway, um, I think we had a fantastic road trip as well and a, and a wonderful, wonderful uh, welcome from Keith when we got to his place. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. The food and, and looking at his art collection was humbling. Uh, yes. he, his art collection is quite vast. And to, to know that my pieces are now going to be among those really impressive uh, artworks, uh, I'm very, very honored. Uh, he's not only a wonderful person and, uh, and very hospitable, but uh, I'm very, very honored to have uh, my work in his collection. Now, uh, we still have some exhibition going on, and one of them is in Silver Street Studios, is, is the, the sum of us. And the end of it will be August 21st. So you still have time to buy the other two pieces left on the hallway, I'm just saying. There you go. Um, and you have uh, quite a few of them. Uh, some of them have sold and uh, you replace them with new ones. Mm -hmm. um, and what I think I'll do is once the Punk Amarga show is over, I think I will redo this exhibit uh, and, and place things from Punk Amarga in that space. Oh. Uh, until the 21st of August. That's um, very smart. And, and hopefully uh, then find another another venue for them. But uh, you know what? They're going to sell out before then. So it won't matter. <laughs> Fingers crossed, guys. There's few pieces left. And um, I am, this month, I'm featured with a piece at Archway Gallery for the 13th Jury Exhibition. And there's the petal line. And uh, if you guys... Um, want to uh, uh, venture to Archway Gallery, you can do it uh, um, anytime until August the 4th. Uh, when It's quite an honor. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And um, yes, um, and a, a proceed of this um, uh, artwork will go toward um, a, um, an organization here in town. Oh, lovely. Mm -hmm. Now, fine Guadalajara is still on. Uh, we are making progress. I've been featured in uh, their uh, Instagram accounts and um, it's moving uh, slowly and surely. I ordered my frames and, uh, and I'm getting ready for packing and put the stuff together. And I'm, I'll, I will keep talk about this uh, 
uh, in the next art chats and I'll, I'll let you guys know uh, what else is new. You know, I was just reading, uh, I got a, some sort of something through uh, social media. Mm -hmm. This is the first time they're doing the show in Guadalajara. Is that as, as what you understood? No, I didn't understand that. I didn't. Yeah, I think this is the because... first year they're doing the Guadalajara show, the Mexico show, and I guess the, uh, uh, the Monterrey show uh, have happened in the past, but this is the first kind of launching of, of the show in Guadalajara. So that, that, that's great. Hopefully and it'll create and, quite a bit of interest. And what an honor, right? I mean, the first yeah. group. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it is quite an honor that uh, we'll get quite a lot of notice, I believe and uh, kind of introduce your work to a whole series of collectors who wouldn't normally run into it mm -hmm. uh, here in your studio or in, in, in social media if they're not already following you. So I'm hoping that you're gonna be able to not only sell everything, but really get your name out there to a whole new uh, group of collectors uh, in Mexico. And, um... Again, uh, the um, Festival de Fotografia Artistica in Tucumán is still on. I just recorded for them a piece of video the other day. And, uh, listen to this. I got uh, complimented for the, the, the Spanish accent I have. Let's see. Hola, me llamo Bogdan Mihai, soy fotógrafo rumano trabajando en los Estados Unidos. Estoy impresionado y honrado. Eh? That was very good. good. Very, very good. Very uh, nice presence. Oh, you yes, do I, such wonderful videos. It's, <laughs> it's great. And I, we know uh, from, from Banca Marga and from other things that the videos really, really help to, to present the work and, yeah. and us uh, you know, to our public. Uh, you know, in a way, uh, those pre-made videos are great because it keeps uh, the subject on focus, you know, uh, in, in a dialogue you you go all over the place but when you have a, a pre-made video you know you, you concentrate everything on the whole idea in one minute which is fantastic yeah, but anyway, yeah. the video is done they have it they're gonna start marketing uh, the festival very soon and and Bogdan, well, i think people ought to know that this this particular show is huge right i it mean is, this is this yeah. is part of a very very large program that goes around the country or certainly around the area of Tucumán. Um, this is a, a show they do every year. You're being invited as a guest artist. So it's not as though you're, you're, you had to apply or you had, they've asked you to come and present uh, because they know your work and, and you participated with them last year, but this is actually the fourth time you've shown in Argentina. Yes. Um, so I twice think, with them and twice with uh, with a private with, uh, gallery in Buenos Aires mm -hmm. in the university. So that's that's quite an honor and, and it's a big deal. And um, again, I had the right um, portfolio for them, the right series. Yeah, it worked out beautifully, didn't it? And um, now we have a new vlog. If you haven't, if you guys haven't checked it yet, uh, uh, follow us on YouTube and watch our last episode of the Art Life. There's a, a lot going on, and again, if you if you find it interesting and uh, uh, entertaining, like it, subscribe to our channels. It will help us develop even better, right, John? Absolutely. And, and what we try to do is change the format so that it is a little more interactive, a little more interesting than just kind of a talking head. Uh, we don't want to create just a diary. So there is, there's content in there as well as kind of, of what we've done over the week. The whole idea is to present kind of what it's like to be an artist, at least in the case of Bogdan and I, what it's like to be an artist and uh, some of the things we run into, the people we meet, the things we learn. Mm -hmm. along the way so uh, give it a look if you have a moment uh, look i see you there painting i yes. know that you've I'm been going to show you those paintings in just a minute fantastic so how about uh, uh let's let's do a little review of what i've been working these last days this is a new piece in progress from that sculptural photography and i'm, I'm keep uh, this is the title is not right that have been there by mistake 
but that's okay. So this is a work in progress. And uh, I just want to uh, show everybody once again, this last piece is uh, I put together lately. This is uh, uh, Columnas de Hercules, another uh, misspelling here, not misspelling, sculptural photography. This is when you do a lot of things in the same You know, time. it's just funny because we both looked at these slides. It didn't occur to me. And then... Uh, and I love the way you're calling them sculptural because they're 3D. It's hard to appreciate when you see these photographs, but these are these are three dimensional. They really they're in a, a shadow box, mm -hmm. um, and, and uh, they and have again, a much better presence in person. And, and again, the photography doesn't doesn't do uh, doesn't show the the the, the depth of of mm -hmm. uh, of these pieces. And this Casa Culei, which is the house of lions in Romanian, and we have a famous house of with lions at the gate um, and that was the inspiration for that piece and um, look past it's a little unusual construction and uh, is eleven twenty-five, and i think we need to touch the next two oh, we should pieces probably talk about we want to present and uh, call, uh, these are two paintings i just did um they are uh, 40 by 30 inches uh, so i have them here i call them um Jumeau d'or, which is French for the golden twins, and I'm selling them as uh, as a diptych. Uh, I don't sign the front of most of my kind of abstract pieces because I don't know if people are going to want to put them portrait or landscape. But my whole idea was to create two two uh, paintings that that really go together. Uh, I had the hardest time deciding whether or not these were finished because they seem to to have this this emptiness in the middle. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought that that was okay, that it's okay to, to be a little more mysterious, to, to have a, a void that needs filling. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe that in itself makes the, the painting more interesting. So they're very, very highly textured. Uh, and um, so uh, what I did was I took every metallic gold paint that they sell that I could find. And I tried to layer and layer and layer. So what the original colors were kind of a copper gold metallic, and that's what's in the creases there and all that texture. And then I started layering uh, other golds on top. There's even uh, kind of a greenish gold in the middle that this was then covered by a very shiny metallic gold. And I have the pieces here, so you can get a sense of the size at 30 by 40. These are substantial, substantial pieces. And uh, my thought was that they would go together, possibly on top of each other uh, or side by side, depends on, on the space. But they're very, very reflective. Uh, and uh, I find them, be because they are so textured, some of that undercoat of the, the copper and the, and the green come through uh, in places. Uh, depending upon the light, they change as well because they're so they're so reflective. And you know, John, so those are the two that I created just this this last week, and I found them to be quite a change from what I normally do because they are very very they, they're still very busy around the edges and things like that. There's a lot of action, a lot of movement going on, but they are generally very very calm. There's not a lot of the detail and splatters and, and, and those kinds of distractions in the middle of them. You know, so John, hopefully people will find them attractive. I, I think they love them. You know, I think uh, I want to add that they are perfect for this season in Houston. Yes, the I haven't seen the sun in ages. <laughs> so if you guys miss the sun, this is your chance to bring put a, some put a light, light on these your and home. light up your room. <laughs> <laughs> we are sick of rain here in Houston. Now, my piece is uh, called Sunset on Main, and it's uh, from the In Motion series. Uh, um, and this one in particular, it's uh, uh, a photograph, uh, an, a, a um, motion photograph, a long exposure photograph uh, from um, an angle from Main Street. And um, it's very little enhanced here and there to bring some um, um, 
rich colors onto the light but otherwise it's um it's a piece that i absolutely love and uh, is very colorful and what i want to add john with these pieces uh, all of them and, and this particular one it's a 14 by 14 printing on cotton rack paper which is a special paper it's a very thick paper uh, almost feel like watercolor it's a um it's a museum quality which it, it never gets faded or it doesn't yellow but also i want to add that if if somebody out there is interested in this collection any of these pieces can be um uh printed on larger scale on different kind of mediums like canvas like uh, plexiglass it depends of of the uh, the design of your home really or office and and how many are in this run how many in this edition um this is i believe i have it here oh didn't mean to trick you there yeah but this particular one is a hundred in a series uh-huh and um it looks like this. It can be super large. And so when someone buys, if they if they were to have these printed in different sizes, that doesn't change the edition. You're still, right, right. You're still working with so a limited edition. It's not edition. like we're gonna issue now a 14 by 14, 100 pieces of that and 100 pieces of right. 36 by 36 inch. No, each so the, one the is gonna have a number. The pieces stay. When we're gonna run out, we're gonna run out of it. It's time to do more work. Yeah. Anyway. Well, I believe that we're out of time. I wanted we to are. thank and, everybody uh, for for joining us. It's been just a... just just one moment. I want to okay. I want to say I just say uh, Frank online. So Frank, if oh, you hi Frank, there, hi there. Uh, sorry I missed you on uh, on the chats because I'm very concentrated on keeping up with John. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the chat today, um, and um, we hope we see you soon around the studios, right? Sounds grand. Have a lovely week. See you guys Thank soon. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you next week.